Hey guys, it's Sam here from Core Electronics and today we're going to be taking a look at Particle.io. Now Particle, formerly known as Spark, was a group of software developers who wanted to bring the power and versatility that is cloud computing and data um, to the microcontroller platform which allows for you know easy control of inputs and outputs and communication to other devices and the ability to really create your own um, you know maker electronics that you can program. Um, and for a while that's been a bit of a stumbling block with DIY and Maker Electronics that you've got all these fantastic brands like Arduino and Raspberry Pi and Chibitronics that are making it more and more accessible for people of any age or skill level to get into electronics. But um, IOT, the Internet of Things, has always been a bit of a stumbling block um, for a lot of people. And it, it's easy to understand why. It can be quite complex sometimes. Um, dealing with cloud data and push-pull requests and HTTP protocols and things like that. Um, and so the guys at Particle have wanted to work out a way to um, allow anyone um, who can, you know, has used Arduino or anyone who's never even looked at a microcontroller to be able to use the Internet of Things and create their own IOT device. So what they've brought to us now is two boards, the Photon and the Electron. Photon is a Wi-Fi enabled microcontroller and the Electron is a 3G cellular enabled microcontroller. So Particle have actually developed their own system on chip. So you can see on the Photon here this uh, little silver square that's actually got in it an ARM Cortex microprocessor at 120 megahertz, huge processing power, uh, a Broadcom Wi-Fi chip along with all of your flash and RAM um, things like that, and then broken out onto a board with your um, Wi-Fi antenna, uh, header pins, uh, USB connection, all that kind of thing. And then the Electron's quite similar. We've got our cellular 3G uh, module here, extended um, I.O. pins. We've got now four registers of input and output. Um, you set up and mode buttons as on the Photon, USB, um, a JST connector for battery, and then the microcontrollers actually underneath here on the uh, on that processor there and a bit more circuitry whereas you can see the photon is uh, it's all shown on the top board so that's the hardware side and then along with that they've got particle.io which is their cloud platform so they've so along with the hardware they've got particle.io which is their cloud platform now there's a few different elements to this so let's take a look first up we've got uh, the dashboard on Particle Cloud. Now it's now called the console, they've just done a rename but it works exactly the same. So on the dashboard as we can see, um, we'll go over and open that up, it's a way for you to sort of monitor all your devices and you can see what's going on, you can see the status logs, um, you can create your own web hooks, you can um, create an organization account where you can push uh, firmware updates over the air to all your devices. Um, stacks more, you can view all your billing details. So I'll just go ahead and uh, log on here. Port. Alrighty, now as you can see, you can view your devices here at the status, so none of them are connected at the moment. Um, it's that little circle there, it gives you the different device modes. Um, you can go through and view products that you've created using the particle gear, um, logs, event logs, data, things like that, your integrations, so your web hooks, um, connecting to external web services, and your billing. Um, now the billing only applies for the Electron, so because it's a 3G board, um, you do have to use a SIM card to get it connected to the cloud. But fortunately when you buy the Electron, Particle include their own SIM card, and they've actually set up a soft SIM carry network uh, around the world works in almost every country um, and pretty much you put it in and they take care of everything about the network connection. They use the best network uh, available um, and they've created a really simple pricing structure um, here. Now you might look at um, you know $2.99 per megabyte and think what I can get you know I can get almost a gig um, of data nowadays for five or ten bucks but when you look at it, you're not actually using anywhere near that much data with the Electron. You're only sending you know, strings and bytes and small packets of data, so a megabyte will actually last you a long time if you're clever with how you use it. But the main advantage here is it'll work anywhere. You don't have to worry about setting up your carrier, things like that. 
but you also can set it up to use a third party SIM card. So, you know, the SIM in your phone, um, it's just got that micro um, SIM card slot there, or nano, whichever one it is. Um, so we'll keep looking at Particle Cloud. Um, now we've got the documentation sections. So that's where you've got all of your uh, all of your data sheets. So we'll go down here, um, and it's got everything from um, how to use different firmware functions, all of the cloud functions, along with um, you know pinouts of both devices. So we can see that we're on the Photon here. Um, you can look at coding examples, um, web hook examples, how to make your own like uh, HTML page that you can control these devices from. So that's really cool. And then the biggest thing here is the build area. So with the particle system, the IDE is actually all cloud-based. All of your, your programs, your apps, your libraries, they're all stored on the cloud. You don't have to worry about any kind of local storage. So we'll take a look at that. Now you might notice if you've come from using Arduino, a few uh, familiar things, you've got your void setup and your void loop. And that's because they've actually used the same um, sort of software abstraction called wiring. Um, in this, which is designed to make the C programming language um, even easier to use. So you can uh, use functions like digital read, digital write, analog read, um, analog write, and all those kind of, you know, really easy to get started type of programming uh, conventions that you might be used to. But uh, this is based around C++ um, rather than C, which is the Arduino language. Um, pretty similar. Uh, but you know a bit of different versatility and options between the two But if you ever used Arduino, you'll be right at home And if you haven't it only takes a few minutes to get started writing your first program So uh, you've also got the community here now. That's kind of your forum um, Support area for projects tech support um, issues you might have questions about everything Works the same as any other forum fantastic community there along with you know great project ideas um, and then you've got your setup page where you can set up your new electron. Now you only need to do that for the electron. The, uh, the photon sets up a little bit differently. Um, and if you want to know about a bit more about setting both of these devices up, we've got tutorials on both of them. Check them out. Great reads. Um, and we can go through the setup process there. But yeah, if you're anything like me and the idea of a small internet of things, 3G, Wi-Fi connected board, the price of uh, you know less than some of the more expensive Arduinos or Raspberry Pis. You know if that excites you, then I highly recommend you get one of these. Check it out. You'll have so much fun programming things. So much connectivity. Um, you know, running at 120 megahertz ARM Cortex processors. That you know, they pack a punch. Plenty of processing power. Um, so yeah, check those out. Check out our other tutorials, and we'll have a look at how we can set up both these devices. See you guys.